The saying goes that the proof of life is what? Consciousness. Consciousness. It means that when you can no longer interact with the essences of the life that you claim to have, you are no longer alive. The proof of life is consciousness. One of those kinds, if I may use that word, or types of consciousness that I traffic with is that their eyes always on me. Their eyes always on me. Now it's for different people this kind of um, consciousness could be experienced. But what differentiates us is a second layer of consciousness that we have as to whose eyes is always on us. Some people believe that the people in their village they are the only ones who have eyes on them and so they are afraid. Because if your village people have their eyes on you you will need God to help you. One of our brothers Abbasu Edu Udechuku was speaking about one of the young men around him. He has these armor bearers that they travel to get about three or four of them. So they had Abuja apostolic um, invasion. And from Abuja, they took off for Ghana. Prayer conference. I think that was Kwame Nkrumah University of Seoul. So he traveled with three of them to Ghana. And there was this young man amongst them who had never entered a plane before until the Ghana trip. So that young man was excited that, ah, tomorrow I will enter plane first time. We are going to Ghana. And this young man was on his own struggling. The only thing that gave a sense to his life was that he was bound to revive our hope and Jesus had started polishing his life. Now, the night before they traveled, one of his uncles that he had never heard from in the village called him and said, Where are you traveling to tomorrow? So the guy calmed down that Kai! So I'm about to experience something new, and this uncle can still see me. You know how that would that guy sleep? You'd have to say, Kai, over there me. I'll, I'll, I'll to today. Some people live their lives like that, they expect that every good thing, every almost good thing will be bad it's the eyes of them but I know that their eyes on me and because I know that their eyes on me those eyes don't matter God watches me God watches me He's, and you know those eyes in the village the only way they can sustain sight is if they run shifts are you with me now you may think oh no 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 they, they will be awake all the time they can be awake all the time but by reason of the bravery of life if he decides not to sleep for many days he will die and he will hand over the watch to another person but the bible says the one who watches he not only sees his eyes emit a preservatory essence he that keepeth thee neither slumbers nor sleep He's called the ancient of ages not because he gets old it's because time refused to happen to him for blessings and honor glory and power be unto the ancient of days this happened to him but he refused to change you know if you buy bread now Moto used to walk in in one good bakery like that is the bakery still there no matter how they put preservative if you buy that bread at day three the what you'll be eating will have lost the d it, it, it starts counting from the back it's d that first goes then the a then the e then the r then the b by the time you get to the b another creature that has a bee attached to his name called bacteria will have started acting on the brain so it will become like a culture material 
it will have grown certain things that Motun did not bother to plant in the bakery. Are you with me? But see, time doesn't happen to God. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. He watches over me. 